Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS programming. One of the user has asked me to explain the difference between RFSTDTC and RFXSTDTC. In most of the cases, these two could be the same. So I'll try to explain on where these two could differ with an example. Let us say there is a study in which after the subjects uh, complete their inclusion exclusion criteria assessment are enrolled and before they are randomized, all the subjects would receive a placebo during for a certain period of time. So this period is called run-in period in which of all the subjects would receive placebo. And in this study, let's say the uh, run-in period is expected to, is designed to uh, check whether the subjects will be able to comply with the dosing schedule requirement. So only those subjects who will be able to comply with the dosing schedule requirements will be randomized and then the study treatments, treatment A or treatment will be, treatment B will be uh, given to them. So, so if we take a look at the SDTM IG, if we take a look at the SDTM IG for the definition of RFSTDTC and RFXSTDTC, we find two words one is protocol specified treatment and the second one is study treatment so here in this case treatment a or treatment b will be considered as study treatments so along with these two treatments we also have a treatment called run-in uh, uh, treatment placebo given during the run-in period so this placebo along with the study treatments would be considered as any protocol specified treatments so any protocol specified treatments have to be captured in our SDTM EX domain. So SDTM exposure which is EX domain. So in this we may have a variable like EX cat to differentiate between the study treatment also and also the run-in period. Let's say we will have the rows corresponding to run-in period with an EX cat like run-in and on the rows corresponding to the treatment period we may have an EX cat value like treatment or study treatment. So we'll have all the rows which are corresponding to the protocol specified treatments in our EX domain. So the definition of RFXSTDTC clearly states that it has to be the earliest start date of any of the protocol specified treatments and also it has to be equivalent to the earliest EXSTDTC present in EX domain. So the sponsors or the clinical trial uh, analysis personnel does not have a alternate definition for RFX STDTC. It has to be equivalent to the earliest date in exposure domain. So in exposure domain, we need to capture all the protocol specified treatments. So if we come back to our example, so we need to, the earliest date uh, across for all the protocol specified treatments would be the one which begins at run-in period. So this date would become RFXSTDTC. So RFSTDTC is again dependent on sponsor's choice. So sponsor, let's say the he or she wants to call the date when the subject took the first study treatment, which is either treatment A or treatment B as the uh, reference start date for this study. So this would become RF. STDTC. So RFX STDTC is equivalent to the earliest date of any protocol specified treatment or the earliest date in EX, uh, EX STDTC per subject and RF STDTC is sponsor dependent and in this study let's say the sponsor has chosen that the date of uh, earliest date of treatment A or treatment B will be used as reference start date. The sponsor can populate this date in RFSTDTC variable. So this is how RFSTDTC and RFXSTDTC can, XSTDTC can differ on any study. Uh, thank you for watching and keep learning. Hope this is helpful.